Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Yeah, you're right. I've got a bottle of Stella. <laughs> Sometimes, for a bit of fun, can I get a review? Can I more run of the mill? Kind of like premium lagers, aren't you? <laughs> so, yes, bottle of Stella. From, um, well, they say Belgium, don't they? But goodness me, this has not been brewed in Belgium for a long time, I'd imagine. Where on earth are they brewing this? Probably uh, distributed. A B in Fed UK. So where the fuck is that? That's under nowhere, some undisclosed site, no no doubt. Um four point eight percent A B V going in with no prejudice. I know it kinda of sounds like it, but you I mean because this channel's very much not this, but it's got this weird little wrap on it's cheap as fuck, is this stuff to buy when you used to be drinking all that posh craft craft beer. Bloody hell. It's cheap in comparison. Yeah, a couple of quid. Actually it didn't work it worked out like one pound. 150 for a six, uh, for a six, uh, was it? 500 ml bottle, 660, something like that. Anyway, I used to drink this back in the day. No, it's got its certain. Uh, reputation, shall we say. Um, but you mean 4.8? I'm battered to key out 4.8. I drink most of my beer, beers I drink are fucking 5 6% upwards. I'm going to leave a little bit of headroom in this, but as you'd expect, it's um, Pimbright Pale Lemony Golden Beer Pure White Foam. I mean, it looks the business. So, let's give this one a sniff. Do you know what? It's absolutely jumping out of the glass at me. So, let's get his old schnoz in there. It's not bad. There's no, there's no, it's not light struck or anything, there's no issues with this. The aroma is um, a very sharp citrus. Oh, somebody was telling me what, what they kind of thought it smelled like the other day. I always said fly spray, that a lot of kind of, especially Becks, smell like fly spray to me. It's got a very pronounced sharp lemon and lime, I'd say, which falls away to a little bit of kind of kind of creamed corn, light malt kind of character, and pour a bit more, because when I first pour it was just absolutely raging with the citrus, and but then it falls away to like the soft, kind of Jacob's cream cracker kind of aroma. Yeah, you know, do you know for what it is, it doesn't smell that bad, so let's dive in, cheers, and it's cold as fuck as well, <laughs> it's been in freezer, took it out about half an hour ago. Okay, that's peculiar. Mm. Okay, first thing is um, kind of preserved lemons. There is an astringency. I wouldn't say it's even bitterness, that it is an astringency. Yeah, kind of. Not digestive biscuits, maybe even closer to like custard creams. This is soft malt, soft malt character. Something weird and slightly chemically in there. It's cold, it's really cold this, so it'll probably be masking a lot of unpleasant things. I'm gonna buy a pint of this. By the end of this, I would not be wanting to be drinking the scrag end of a, a pint of Stella, to be honest, this is what it is. Drink it quick, drink it cold. It's got a fair bit of flavour, it's got a bit of bite to it, it's got a bit of lemon. It's got, a, it's got that tang you get from kind of macro lagers. You can tell the difference between a, a well-made kind of Hellas lager or something like that. And then something like this. Bit of, there's a bit of a metallic thing in there as well. Do you know what? This get me thinking. I don't understand why people drink in this in, the, in their droves. You I mean when um, I mean somebody who's quite a, kind of quite into drinking kind of beer. Um, I know it's readily available, um, but I think there's a lot better kind of readily readily available 
drinks out there, but which just anybody. I mean, I, I just on on a, from a, for somebody who's drank a lot of kind of quite extraordinary beers. Um, I'm not saying I need to kind of reach out and have something wonderful and impactful every time I drink a beer, but just as an a, 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 just as beer, if you want to drink beer, I don't know how you pick this up over something like Jaipur or Punk IPA or whatever kind of like pale ales are knocking around in your supermarkets because there's, th this has got a lot of things going on that are a bit, a bit, a bit dodgy and it's not the matter that they're um, um, hiding flavours or it's the, the flavours just aren't there and the two and, and beers like Punk IPA for example example are two flavors them. I don't think that's true because I think there is a good amount of flavor to this but the flavor there isn't all that nice so I just don't get it I'm not here to prove a point I can understand I actually I can't understand why people drink this it's just not that pleasant I mean it's, it's not bad there's no kind of glaring f faults in it it's just not that nice a drink so, um, and I'm not just trying to win people over to kind of ale. I mean, if you, just something like punk, local pale ale, whatever you see in your local pub, I have probably better beers than this. Just a nicer taste. Just, it is just, it's not, sub, uh, I mean, people say um, beers, um, you know, kind of subjective. Well, do you know what? I think you can be objective about it as well. And sometimes some things just do taste better than others. And, and I'm not saying you've got to go out about Cloudwater Double IPAs because I don't think that's realistic for a lot of people who might find this video. Um, just, just have a look in your supermarket aisles and see what else is going on. Because it just baffles me a little bit. Because I just don't think it takes... I mean, as I said, technically, no issues. Um, but flavour-wise, it's just confusing, conflicting. Why would you think that tastes better than a... Like well may be and I'm sure and, and the same applies to kind of your your better kind of like lager brands and stuff like that obviously if you want to look around and try and find some tasty ass shit from Germany and stuff like that some um, um, some uh, Augustina I'd always kind of say it's probably one of the best lags in the world um, not that hard to find if you go to a kind of a local independent retailer but it is what it is it's a it's a big bottle of Stella it's 4.8% ABV. It's not really that strong, is it? When, you think, when you're thinking you're all tough, drinking pints and pints of this. <laughs> I used to. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And now it's on my channel. Who'd have thunk it? Rob from Hot Scene. See you next time.